Don't change this video. I just want a few minutes of your time to explain to you something that I've been feeling in my soul, okay? And you probably been feeling the same thing that I've been feeling in my soul and your soul, okay? Listen, this April the 8th, 2024, solar eclipse is a prophecy, y'all. It's a prophecy. This stuff that we experiencing in the heavens, in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, Folks, this stuff was already written before we even got here. It was already written in the Bible. Okay? And so, folks, it's safe to say right now, I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. We living in some times right now where things are not good. Okay? Can you probably agree with me on that? Comment below if you agree with me on say trend, big bro trend, things are not good. You know, it's just not normal. Um, everything is abnormal. This is not how it's supposed to be. All right. I just want to see how many people I there can actually say that we are living in times right now where things are not normal. This is not good. Okay. And this solar eclipse that will take place on April the 8th, 2024, it's kind of like it's divine. It's coming at the right time of all these events that are happening in the world right now, okay? I don't know what part of the world that you in. I don't know what country that you are in, okay? I don't know where you're translating my English into or what you're, tra what you're translating my English into. But listen, it's no different in your country than it is in my country. We are all going through these times, okay? Dark times, revelational times end times, okay? And I got to proudly say that everything that God wants to happen is already happened and it keeps happening, okay? You can see it every single day, man. You can see two sides fighting against each other. You got evil versus good, okay? Look at all the events that's coming out in, in our society nowadays. Like everything is being exposed, Okay, everything in the darkness that people do is coming to light. That's why I'm praying that you don't have anything that you're doing right now that's in the darkness. If you doing things in the darkness right now, I'm talking to you. You got to get it together, man. And you got to go ahead and get rid of these things and bring yourself into repentance. So basically what you got to do is just say, God, please forgive me on my sins. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Okay, that's what you got to do. All right. Everything else will be history. You don't got to worry about your past no more. And see, what is happening right now in the times that we're living in is these signs from the heavens that we... we See, the thing you got to understand about signs is coming from the heavens, such as like this solar eclipse, this April the 8th solar eclipse is taking place right now. We don't get to tamper with that. That stuff has... It's been here since generations and generations upon civilizations and civilizations. Okay, we don't we can't make the moon go in its uh course and switch it and turn it and flip it and and then and, and, and pull it and bop it and like we do everything else here on earth. We can't do that. And see, that's one thing that man cannot mess with. We cannot mess with the stars in the sky, we cannot mess with the sun and the air, we cannot mess with none of that stuff because it's God's creation, it's his way to show us. I haven't forgot about y'all. It's his way to show us like, listen, y'all, if y'all don't understand what I'm doing in the air, then it's going to be a hard time for you on earth. And what he about to do on April the 8th is just another sign to let us know that we better get our act together as mankind, as human beings. If not, he going to do the same thing he did with, with the dinosaurs. He can do the same thing he did in the times of Noah, okay? Judgment day is on the way, okay? God is going to destroy this earth. I don't know about you, but lately I've been feeling like I'm about to disperse at any second. I don't know what disperse means, but I feel like the rapture could happen at any second. Now, haven't you been feeling in your spirit lately that you're just going to just go up? I know I have. I've been feeling lately like, man, this is just out of control to the point that I don't want to be here if it keeps getting worse, man. 
Like things just keep getting worse. And I'm a really optimistic guy. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure you're optimistic too if you're watching this video up until this point. But I'm a really optimistic person. And I don't normally think about anything bad. But it's like so much stuff is happening around us that is bad after bad after bad after bad. Earthquake after earthquake. War after war. Landslide after landslide. People against people. Women hate men. Family members hate family members. False prophets everywhere trying to deceive people to, to get money out of them. Uh, uh, people, you can't go to the movies. You can't go to the mall. You can't go to a parade. You can't go to a festival without worrying about getting shot up. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous that to the point that it's, it is scary to go outside. You can't even go outside anymore without worrying about somebody crazy coming out into a park and shooting up the park. You know why these demons are coming out? Because they know their time is up. Okay, that's why we have so much demonic activity nowadays. And you got to stay prayed up because these demons, okay, which are real life entities, okay, who harbor themselves inside of people. OK, and in the spiritual realm, they are coming out nowadays like never before that is causing so much pandemonium on the earth. OK, y'all just seen what just happened in in Russia. OK, was it Russia? Was it Moscow? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not perfect. OK, but they shot up a whole theater of innocent people. How evil can you be to shoot people with this innocent? They, done, they have done nothing to you. They don't even know why you're shooting them. These demons are coming out of in people form, y'all. Y'all don't understand what we're dealing with. Here. Folks, this is spiritual warfare at an all-time high, okay? You can literally see demonic activity in the earth right now, okay? You got demons that's coming and manifesting in the form of people, and they are shooting up. Innocent people. Now you might ask yourself, well, what's the what's the motive behind why do they shoot them up? Well, it was them. It, it's because of them. This this people have a problem with that people. It ain't got nothing to do with that, folks. This is all spiritual warfare. These are demons, legions of demons who are shaken, who are scared of the return of Christ. They are re they are shaken and scared because they know they're about to spend the rest of their eternity in the pits in the fire of hell. They know it. So they're trying to manifest in human form. Okay, we see it all around us. People throwing up devil horns and stuff. They letting you know what they represent. You know, people is showing you that they are part of the devil now. They like showing you, I'm, I'm, I'm with Satan. I'm on people saying, I'm on demon time. I'm on demon time. They really is on demon time, folks. They are legions of the devil. They are minions of the devil. It's real now. It's, it's not even hidden no more. It used to be hidden, you know what I'm saying? But now people is coming out and saying, look, this is what side I'm on. What side you on? And this is the time that God is drawing his line in the sand between his chosen ones and the people that's not a part of this whole cross, okay? Either you're going to be over here, either you're going to be over there. And this April 8th solar eclipse is coming up, okay? It just marks another sign. It's just another sign in time because God talked through the stars and the sun. And God talks in big word, in big language. God moved the whole moon. God put the whole moon in front of the sun. If that ain't powerful, if that ain't a sign, you can't. Now, you might see a lot of signs in your everyday life. And you might say, oh, that's, I seen that sign. That car went down the street and that blue car come up the street. Listen, God on a different level. God is on a different. God moved moved this moon in front of the sun and block out the whole sun and let you know, hey, I'm coming. I don't know who down there talking about me and saying I don't exist. The demons is trembling, folks. April the 8th, 2024, this solar eclipse why did this solar eclipse get more recognition than all the other ones, y'all? Ask yourself that. Why am I even talking about it? Because 
God using me to talk about it. Because the sons in the past, they got surpassed. People didn't pay no attention. Ah, this is not a solar eclipse. You know, life is, you know, a lot of people out there say, yeah, everything is normal. Well, ain't nothing gonna happen. Ain't nothing gonna happen. It don't gotta happen. It's already happening. God is just letting you know on the on the on the calendar of time of the world and its existence. This is how much time y'all got left. Okay, that's basically what it mean. It don't mean that when the solar eclipse happened, that something uh, catastrophic is gonna happen. That don't necessarily mean that we gonna get raptured. Nobody knows the day nor the hour. But he's just saying, listen, y'all got y'all see what time it is, huh? It's eleven eleven. I just want to let you know, whoever don't clock in, when the, when the time strikes 11, 12, they cut. And I'm firing them. That simple. I'm being nice. I'm showing y'all signs now. I am the creator. I am the alpha. I am the omega. From the beginning until the end. I'm letting you know. This is a sign. On April the 8th, 2024, I'm going to bring the moon in front of the sun for about four to five minutes. Just so you can see just the small little fraction of me. Just so you can see a little bit of the small greatness, the letter G in the word greatness that I am. But I'm much more. But I'm also for you. And if you change your ways, okay, if you turn from your sin and you say, God, please help me. Please, just take me from this life of sin. I will pave your way for you. I will open up doors for you, okay? So this is just a video to let you know that this solar eclipse is going to happen. We can all feel it, y'all. It got everybody's attention. Even the news is talking about it. Even they scared. Yeah, all the people who've been lying to you for all these years, even they scared. Because they know this ain't no joke, y'all. This is real. Okay, it's going to be a lot of people left behind. It's going to be a lot of people that ain't even here no more. Are you going to be somebody that's still here? Or are you going to be somebody that's gone? Speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to this video, man. It's your big bro trend. I didn't make this video to scare nobody or nothing like that. I'm just telling you what I'm from my heart, what I feel, okay? So make sure you subscribe to my video, or not my video, but my channel if this video resonated with you, okay? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I got more videos. Look in the comment section, okay? Look in the comment section. Make sure you book a session with me if you want to talk to me personally about this topic matter. Make sure you look in the comment section. Make sure you book a session with your big brother, Trent. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video. Listen, whether or not the rapture comes on April the 8th, 2024, it don't matter, y'all. It's still a sign from the most high to let, let everybody know. Listen, we ain't got long, y'all. Okay? The king is going to return. All right? So take it how you want to. I know it's going to be a lot of people in the comment section that's going to have their two cents. Comment. You can write. But that writing ain't going to really be nothing at the end of the day if you ain't so if you ain't saved. If your soul ain't saved. Okay? So you can talk what you want. But we see it happening with our own two eyes and, and in our spirits. We feel it. Spiritual beings, we feel things. We are empaths. And if I feel it, I know you feel it. Somebody comment below if you feel it, man. I can feel it. Every day I've been feeling it. So with that being said, man, I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all, man. Keep God number one in your life. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace and blessings.